Praise God. Hallelujah. It's been a while since we spent time looking into the word of God. I bring you a word from the living God today. The Bible says that the flower fades, the leaf wither, but the word of God abide forever. Amen. Forever, O God, thy word is established in heaven. For in the beginning was the word. I believe strongly that as you begin to wrap up yourself in the word of God, there's life that begins to come into your situation. Amen. I want to read from the book of John. Book of John. I've been spending some time studying the book of John very closely on this week. In the book of John chapter 9, the verse number 6, John chapter 9, the verse number 6, the Bible says that then he spit on the ground, made mud with the saliva and spread the mud over the blind man's eye. Then he spit on the ground, made mud with the saliva and spread the mud over the blind man's eye. I I want to talk to you about get it done any way possible. Get it done any way possible. Amen. 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 Um, so the life of Jesus Christ, if you study closely, is a life that is filled with daily challenges. Not only is Jesus going to die at the end of his life, but his life was a life with constant resistance. His life was a life of challenge. It is so difficult to be Jesus to a point that you have to first convince the people that love you that you are who you are and you have to consistently fight people that because of who you are, they are, they are angry angry with you sometimes your life will come to a place where if you become your true self it means trouble if you expose who you really are it means trouble and sometimes we have an understanding that if your assignment is from god then it means that it's going to be an easy assignment but i just want you to understand on today that anybody sent by god is not accepted in this life anybody that's actually sent by god will have a lot of oppositions in this life and anybody that has a god given assignment will not be loved by many and so jesus went through that all his life and the tension and and the conspiracies and the things that were fighting against him was real in the midst of it all he had to also do what he had to do and that's really what i came to speak to you on today that i don't know what is going on around you i don't know what is going on beside you i don't want to what is going on underneath you i don't know what is going on on top of you i don't know what is going on in front of you but at the end of the day you have to do what you have to do i came to speak to somebody who needs to get a job done but you don't have what it takes i came to speak to somebody who needs a task done but you don't have what it takes and that is the person i want to speak to on today and i came to let you understand that make do with what you have i said make do with what you have i'm come to i'm coming to speak to you so you'll be encouraged to do what you have to do I am coming to speak to you so you'll be encouraged to do what you have to do. Here is my message to you on this day. I want you to understand me that in the midst of the lack, in the midst of the difficulty, you have to acknowledge and you have to understand, you have to come to awareness, you have to agree with me on today that you will never get everything in place to do what you are called to do. You will never have everything in place to do what you are called to do that's very important so at every point in time you have to be able to navigate through life knowing that you don't have all the things that you you in the in a proper way you could have had all right let me get to my test and really begin to bring you the word and then we're going to pray and so jesus uh, encounters a man according to my my verse here the man was born blind and the disciples now comes in and says now why was he born blind is it because of sin and jesus said no it's not because of sin but because of the will of god that must bring glory out of his life and so in the midst of it all he tells them we gotta work because god has apportioned a lot of things that needs to be touched whilst we have the time and so let's get busy and so he turns around and he recognizes that apart from the fact that he has preached so powerfully apart from the fact that he has explained the situation he actually doesn't have the tokens and the things that will cause the man to see 
<laughs> so you, you have it's like you have preached the preaching it's like you've been to the church you've prayed and everything but there's no oil anywhere for you to use to do the thing there's no water anywhere and so bible said jesus said that i i need water i need water because it is water and 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 the and the earth that creates and so i need that to elements and it's and, and he looked around and he couldn't find the water and he says actually i'm going to get the water which is in me so scripture say he spat on the ground and he missed it together and he spread it in the eye of the person and the bible says they said go to the place called sent and the bible says when he went there he came back singing i came to let you understand that make do with what you have and you will come back singing now let me give you a practical testimony there's a, a man in in africa who did a very popular song it was a very simple chord progression and the song was do something new in my life the testimony behind the song was that after he has recorded his, his own CD. He was walking out of the studio when he just felt that let me do a simple song at the end of this CD so that my song will complete. And that simple song that was not planned, that was not thought about, that's a song that became a hit on the whole project. What I want you to understand on today is that the thing that God is going to do in your life is going to come up with Al Kastahino Stabre Kayapa. I am telling you that the, the food that you, you know, women go to the kitchen and sometimes they don't have enough, so they, they, they don't have all the the, the the right grocery so they kind of piece things together and they cook something most of the time that food is the one that tastes so good god is telling me to tell you today that make do what you have you don't have all the equipment turn on your phone and just speak life onto onto the facebook you don't have gadgets don't worry about it just make do with what you have you don't have a lot of money make do with what you have because at the end of the day it is the results that god is going to do God says for me to tell you that use the people that are, that seems not qualified but he, because he's going to qualify the results. God says for me to tell you that use that little thing that is not quality. He, use that little thing that is not quality and it's going to qualify the results. Make do with what you have. Make do with what you have. He says to him now, go and make food with the little that you have and come back. The Lord wanted me to inform you on today that you are going to excel with that little thing that you have. And no matter what, don't stop what you're doing. If you only have one, use it. Try and 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 never stop what you are doing just because you don't have enough. If you need to use a pencil to do it, use a pencil. If you need to use a chalk, if you need to use a crayon, whatever you need, just write the thing down. That's what God is saying. He says, when you come to a point where you got to get the will of God done, whatever it takes, use it. When TBN started, TBN was using shower curtain as the background. You got to use what you got to use. That's what I came to tell you. Don't be intimidated by what you see. Don't wait until you have the crowd preach. Don't wait until everything is done. Do what you have to do with what you have because the result is in the hands of God. Are you hearing me today? The result is in the hands of God. Let me pray on with you today. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up a prayer for those who have come to a place where they need to act and they are waiting for everything to be in place. I pray, oh God, that Father energize them and infuse them with the doing spirit so that they can pick up a paper and do something they can pick up a chalk and do something they can pick up anything they can get and do something or oh, where there is a will there will be a way father inject your supernatural will upon your people to rise up and fulfill their destiny and their assignment regardless of what it takes in the name of jesus father let the person that is looking at that small thing they have let them see it as enough let that person that is looking at the small thing they have let them see it as enough saliva is also water in the name of jesus we thank you holy ghost for you are good amen